And it's gotta be What's happening? What's happening? Hey, uh, this is Jason here. I'm fresh out of the escape room. Y'all thought I died or lived one or the other. I don't know which one that you thought that I that happened to me, but I'm fresh out the escape room because I never lose. And I'm here with the color commentary crew where we give you views from a different side. And the first thing we're going to be talking about today as we bring on Mr. Danny J. Quick. And we're talking about Escape Room and Bandersnatch is, um, which one of these do you want, Danny? Do you want the water or do you want the Pepsi? You want the I water like or the Pepsi? Pepsi. Which, one diet, so. which one do you want? Do you want the water or the Pepsi? I guess the water, then. That's fine. You got um, you to you choose which one of these want that you want. Which one do you want? Water. All right. Sounds good. So we'll go ahead and move on with the water. <laughs> <laughs> of course, guys who are watching, that is uh, something all for the Netflix show Banner Snacks, where you have to make choices on what you want to take into your system and also whether or not you want to jump off of a roof. <laughs> Hey, several times. Else jump off the roof. <laughs> there are several opportunities to jump out of roofs and windows. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and introduce yourself, sir. Go ahead. Oh, y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick. Um, at the Ace Blade at your service. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, me, and my, me and my wife went and watched Escape Room. Um, it was simultaneously the best and worst film that I've seen this year. Um, did have some good things, but a lot the, the things that were bad destroyed the whole movie for me. So, you know, but um, we'll get to that. Good stuff. And of course, this is Rashad Waters, the owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, a company that sells music and instruments to marching bands all across the nation. So let's get into it. All right. Let me see here. What is this over here? I found some type of little box. I don't know what the heck this box is about. I'm looking at box. Don't I better not open it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna open it. Oh. And I see what's in the box. It's our next show to talk about. We're going to be talking about Escape Room today, uh, a movie I did not want to see. Let me just, because, you know, I'm the guy that always gives you guys the behind the scenes. I was like, let's talk about the R. Kelly thing, because everybody's talking about this. Ain't nobody talk about no Escape Room. What's Escape Room? I've been to Escape Room. Hey, that was cool, but I didn't want to talk about a movie about it. I mean, I was literally, and the only reason that we did it was, which I was like, well, let's see what the, what, what the crew votes on. The crew was like, escape room. I was the only one that voted for R. Kelly. Y'all ingrates. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about R. Kelly, man. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to see this movie today, right before the uh, the show. And I was, uh, well, I'll see what Danny has to say about it. And then I will give my opinion on it. Because, you know, Danny is a contrarian. So you know that we are going to have uh, opposite opinions. So whatever Danny says, I'm going to say the opposite. Well, I did enjoy the majority of the movie. Um, escape Room, me and my wife, we, we, we go do Escape Room from time to time. We got a couple right down the street here, and um, we, we enjoy them. So um, when the movie came out, you know, and it was it was all right. I'm not going to front and say that the movie was bad. It was it was good for what it was. You know, it was a B movie. Um, the the set design was extremely dope. Like all of the different rooms that they went in were really really well done. Um, mm -hmm. I like the traps. I like the little puzzles. Um, the acting was good. All of the the actors, especially um, Taylor Russell, who the the young lady who was the kind of she was kind of the main character, even though it was the ensemble cast. Mm -hmm. um, she was kind of the main character, the one the really smart one. Um, Zoe. I've seen her in Lost. She was in Lost in Space, right? That um, the new Lost in Space. Oh, was that her? Oh, the one with all the attitude. Yeah, I believe that was her. Um, okay. So you know, she did a really good job. Um, I really liked, like I said, the 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 um the the story was good. Like the script was good. Like the, it had a lot of potential. Now, Rashad, this movie could have been great, and then they had to go into the third act. And destroy everything that they built. Okay? <laughs> the first room, like get everything, 
getting them there, meeting the characters there in, in the beginning. Um, yeah, a couple of people escaped the 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 um Kenny is asking, uh did anybody escape? Yeah, there was a couple of people who got out, but um and Justin, yeah, escape rooms are dope, but I actually liked it better than The Cabin in the Woods. I hated that movie. I just I just did not like it. But that's it really was like that though. It the um the end of it was really like that because there was some observation stuff going on. Um look uh they all got out one way or another. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> they either got out or they got out. Um but um um I, I enjoyed it. It was it was it was good up until the end where they literally were like, okay, we we did a good job. Let's figure out how we can make a sequel. Um, and then they was like, okay, we're going to take the people with the least likely, uh, <laughs> with uh, the, the, least, the least amount of character and make them the two surviving people who are going to carry on the, the whole movie. Now, if it was, um, if it was your boy from, um, from, from Insecure, you know, I could have thought he might have, you know, gone on and tried to find out who who was behind this. Yes. Um, uh, if it was your army girl who survived, I she might have been. Know, you know, it, well, you know, she would. You know, I was Karen Page, right? Yeah, Karen Page. Yeah, she's an investigator, so she yes. might have been, been, been the type to, uh, <laughs> to, to call it. But call it Daredevil. Who were least likely to to go out? And you know, and do this, they completely flip their personalities around at the end, um, mm. at, at the very end of the movie. Um, and they just the whole, like I said, the set designs were great. The pool room, the room with the fallen, um, you know, when they were in the in the pool hall, that mm. space was dope. I like how you know the, the floors would fall out and the, it had everything upside down. It had to do with, um, they had to figure out, um, you know how it connected to their past and all that stuff. Um, I really thought at one point there, um, when they went into that last room, that it was going to be Saw, that it was going to connect to the Saw movies at first. Um, mm -hmm. But thankfully, it didn't. Um, it could have been really good, Rashad. It's just that whole everything from the point where um, they they electrocute your boy. Everything from that point forward destroyed the entire movie for me. Oh really? I, I thought you were going to say something about the electrocution. I <laughs> yeah, he, he talked him into it. That was hilarious. He talked him. Not talk me into getting electrocuted. No, that does not make sense. Right. It was just you bought, Nick, you bought a Nick over there. He died in the mine. Now's your chance. <laughs> but yeah, he died. He died. I made it. <laughs> Man, it re it really could have been a good movie, but. That you know them electrocuting your boy and leaving him there for dead. Then how how did your your the the bummy guy the white guy how did he beat up big muscular uh you know go to the gym every day dude how right. how did he beat him up like that doesn't even make a little bit of sense you know what I'm saying even if you both on drugs he still can overpower you like easily and mm. then uh, just that whole thing where they they threw your the game master into the game. Pop him up on the screen for a second and was like, "Oh no, nope, he's gone!" Like I was like, "Man, y'all are killing it, y'all! Y'all just <laughs> so, yeah, that, that too much for me." So they basically, it's just like being in the Olympics and having a great routine, but you then uh, in gymnastics, but they didn't stick the landing for you. No, nah, they didn't stick the landing at all. <laughs> all right, well. um, for me, so I'm, I'm surprised that we disagree on most. I mean, we agree on most of the movie because I also really liked it. I was pleasantly surprised uh, by how good I thought this movie was. It's like, oh wow! Like um, it gets into it takes a second to for you to meet some of the characters, but once you get into it, you're in it. <laughs> like you are in it, and it, and it is in there. And uh, for me in particular, like one of my things is I don't like to be in places that I can't escape from. Like. That's a thing for me. So this whole thing, watching it, it's like extra exciting for me because I, I feel it maybe on a deeper level than some other people might. You know what I mean? It's like, like as soon as <laughs> my girl was like, wait, as soon as like the, the doorknob broke, <laughs> I was like, oh, 
<laughs> already from jump. Oh. <laughs> you know. And then when your girl came in there, she she had to ask. It's like, oh, that's Fahrenheit 451. I said, yeah, girl, you got it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stuff gets real. I'm excited, Danny, about progress as far as black people are concerned, because now we've made it to a level that there can be other minorities in the movie and they'll just kill off those minorities first. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. We don't have to be the we don't have to be the ones that die first anymore. Now, now we brought on the other minorities in the movies as well, and they can they can be the ones. <laughs> Um, but, um, Kenny, is, Kenny is asking about the deaths. Yeah, there were some deaths in there, but they weren't like on the level of Saw or anything like that. They were just that was another thing. The deaths were all just like, oh, he died. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, they might have been shocking for a second, but it wasn't wasn't anything inventive about most of the deaths. I don't think. No, uh, uh-uh. they put so much into the whole situation itself. Yeah. <laughs> That definitely wasn't anything inventive about being electrocuted. (laughs) Right? (laughs) But there's the funny part about it. To me, okay, if you get electrocuted, I I mean, I don't know. I don't work in the medical profession. But I've always seen, like, if your heart stops, the way to get your heart beating again is to electrocute you again. So, seem like that should have been what they did in order to get them going again. But I guess not. My boy's like, no, you've done enough. (laughs) Let me just hit him. I hit him in the chest. And, like, it's that's dumb. It, it was just, the whole thing was dumb. And then the the sitting him de, de, while the while the poison is filling the air, he's just <sighs> <sighs> breathing to calm his. Like you're breathing in poison right now. Do you know that right. your, your, your heart is okay? All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, I really like Jason's character. I thought he was one dimensional at first. That was kind of ticking me off a little bit. But when you begin to realize the type of person that he really is, like he's a survivor at all costs. And like, oh, okay, I, I see what you're doing there. And when you really, when you learn his secret, you're like, oh, okay, I see. Yeah. And I liked Amanda or Karen Page. I thought her character was, was cool. Yeah. Uh, Zoe, uh, Russell Taylor, that's what doing? Taylor Russell. Hey, uh, she was really smart. However, there was one thing that she said, kind of like with you, like the end didn't ruin it for me. This didn't ruin it for me, but it definitely was like spitting in a nice glass of water. I mean, you just kind of, what the heck? And that was the whole thing about, I think it was the Zeno principle of physics. And mm-hmm. it's like how they pulled that out. So the whole reason, the entire reason for her going to school was for her to be able to say that one line. <laughs> that's, the whole re- that's the only reason for her to be able to say that one thing and that's ridiculous uh, they were basically saying that uh, if you look at a particle it can't interact and I think what they were trying to utilize was the Heisenberg uncertainty principle which mm-hmm. basically says if of you're course. looking at something you exactly affect it. yeah if you look at something you affect it but it doesn't say that molecules or atoms can't have um can't have reactions if you're looking at them. It doesn't say that at all. Where does it say that? <laughs> this ain't like Super. Remember, like in Super Mario Brothers, it's like you got the ghost chasing you, and yeah. you turn around and the ghost stop. <laughs> like atoms don't work like that, bro. Like if I'm looking at this, <laughs> if I if I boil this water and I start looking at it, it's not going to stop steaming. <laughs> <laughs> so that was dumb. I liked the end though. I thought it was pretty cool how they how they did that. Um, there's a little bit little twist. They were definitely begging for a sequel. Like, oh, we got the sequel in the bag. Here, here's how it's gonna go. I don't think so. Um, and I, I would like to see one of the characters that died come back because I thought that his character, uh, number one, the way he the way he died was very um, inconclusive to me. Like he died, and it was like then the screen went away from him. So I was like, did he really die? Oh and then yeah. And then when the girl was talking about like, oh, he died on a motorcycle crash or something like that, I said, well, they easily could have covered that up. Like, I think he's got the personality where you could see him again in the second movie. And they were mm-hmm. like, oh, like they hired me. You know, y'all thought I was dead, but they hired me to be a part of this. Like, I think that would be cool to do that because I think his character would be interesting enough to do that. All right. So let's end up on this. Uh, any other anything? Anybody else saying anything over here? Nope. All right. So, Danny, should people see this movie? 
Um, if if it makes it to Netflix, check it out. Um, I wouldn't pay to go see it again. Um, it was like I said, it was entertaining, but the the whole last part of it just just ruined the whole film for me. Um, it was entertaining to watch. The it, the set design was good. The look and feel of the movie, the the personal like the characters, the interactions were good. The acting was great, but they just fell at the end. Like they were just running the marathon and they just fell down before they could get to the finish line. Nice. Um, for me, um, yeah, I think people should should definitely see this one. I, I think it is uh, quite a surprise. I liked it much more than Bumblebee, which I was uh, so upset about. <laughs> so if you have to choose to see a movie at this time of year, you've got a lot of choices. So go see Aquaman first or Spider-Man, either one. And then go see, after you got those two movies out the way, then go see this. And then just think about Bumblebee and then just pretend like you did. So, hey, we have... Uh, uh, before we quit, congratulations to Spider-Man for women winning the Golden Globe for Best Animated Film. Congratulations. Really? Yes. All right, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Nice. That's all right. That's right. If, hey, if we don't get Black Panther in there, at least we got that one. <laughs> yeah, we got that one. We got... We got to share that one with the uh, Hispanic people as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can't, we can't claim that one on our own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, yes, um, that has been everything we've got to say about that movie. So, again, if you like what we're saying over here, make sure you uh, subscribe to Survive. And it's got to be that.